Good afternoon YouTube. It is Wednesday. It is raining, but I'm a day late with my top 10. I had the hospital last night and I didn't get back till quite late. And I had the doctors today and I waited two and a half hours past my appointment time before I got sore today. So slightly pissed off. But what did I come home to? A lovely box of stuff. Jack and Laura, just when I think you can't outdo yourselves, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I mean, apart from me, you literally, I think, repelling a whole shelf out and putting it in a box and sending it to you. I don't think I'm going to outdo you guys, really, am I? Um, I'm going to send you a message later of a few bits, see if, see if you've got them already. And if you haven't, they're going to be yours. Um, I'm going to go through my top ten. Then I'm going to show you what Jack and Laura has sent me. Now, for everybody who knows, um, I talk about Jack and Laura quite a bit. Brilliant couple. Really cheered me up while I was ill, as did a few others of you as well, of course. Um, but they just sent me another package, and I'm just like... <laughs> oh, amazing. Love it. But if we go through my top 10 first, which is actually near a 20, and you'll see why... Um, then we'll go into what they've sent me and it actually ties in quite nicely. Now my thought process was I've had a couple of nice still books sent to me lately. So what my favorite what's my favourite 10 at the moment? And as as always, it's, it can never be just 10. So what I've done is what's my favourite still books at the moment? Not what's coming or anything, because there's some beautiful ones coming. But what what do I like that have had come to me recently? So firstly and I'll, I want some people to give me some comments down below what is their top 10 that they actually own. You know, because I, I like to know what people, what they got in their collections. What are your top 10 still books that you own yourself? And I, I want to get a kind of a, li a little mix and see what see what people actually own out there because it's all cool. Now, this is one that Jack and Law sent to me recently. Now, people may think, okay, it's simplistic, but I love it. This is Persia 1 and 2 still book. Brilliant. Won't be getting rid of him anytime soon. Now, the absolute bloody obvious one, which is now my ultra, ultra favourite, is the 3D still book Xavi exclusive of Infinity War. It's one of the only ones where I've kept the J card. Because let's face it, bloody awesome. Third one, another one of my absolute stonking favourites where I've kept the J card. It's the 4K re-release steelbook of Deadpool. My other absolute favourite, which I... The J-Card was ripped, so I didn't keep it on this one. But Guardians of the Galaxy 2, of course. Love that. Do you realise the 4K version of this goes for about 40 quid now? It's ridiculous. Uh, this one I haven't even opened yet, but I just had to have it because, I, I mean, I love the film anyway. But I still haven't watched it. From this copy, as it were, the full Monty, nice, you know, vivid yellow. I thought that was really cool. The next one is kind of a, it's a collection more than anything. That's why it ends up being more than ten. Um, I picked up a while ago the first four Fast and the Furious, and this is you know, this is taller than a normal still book. So it's first four films in a still book format. And then there's Fast and the Furious 5. 6 as a still book. 7 as a still book, which is really cool. The back of that is just awesome. You know, love that. And then we have the Fast and Furious 8 still book as well. Now, I actually own all these as normal Blu rays as well. So I have two full sets of that because I'm just that sad. But awesome nonetheless. Next one is a collection again, but we all know this one. Expendables 1 Steelbook. Expendables 2 Steelbook. There's about, there's about two, three versions of this one, but I'm not going to bother getting all of them, but because I like this one because it's got all the skulls and guns. And then we have number three, which is quite dark, but it's got Stallone on the back. So Expendables 1 through 3. Next, um, the reason I really like this one, it's got the 3D version of the film in the box as well, 
and I got it for like two quid from a charity shop. It's Exodus God Gods and Kings Steelbook. It's quite a cool film, a bit epic in itself. Um, I recently sent Laura and Jack Edward Scissorhands because she really loves that film, and I, was, I, I had a spare one. I thought, yeah, go, go and send it. But right when I was doing that, I came across the still book of Edward Scissorhands, another one where I kept the J card because it just looks cool. But awesome film, awesome still book. I'm just going to swap these over. You'll see your eyes because they're just going to fall over. I don't have much room to. I might be upgrading the desk in here soon, so that'd be good. This one, I don't. I think it's some a European version of this, but E.T. Love E.T. Definitely one of my favourites. This one I got from Germany. District Nine, awesome film, awesome still work. I love the back as well as the front on that one. Very cool. This one I got cheap as chips. Devil's Double. I mean, just the artwork's really cool. Vivid colour. Just love it. And then the absolute bloody classic. I got this from Germany as well. The Dark Knight. This cost me about three quid. Another brilliant skill book there. I'm still waiting for the third one to come out of this, but I love Austin Powers. So there's no way I was going to ever turn down the first one as a still book. There he is jumping on the back. And then when they bought the second one out a few months back, there's no way I wasn't going to buy that straight away. Now he's writing the fourth one right now, apparently. So the third one needs to come out as a steel book. So I've got all three. And the last two to go. This was German as well. It was less than a fiver. And I've, I've sent one of these to Rick, you know, down to movie. If you've ever seen him, I've sent this to Rick. Attack the Block. And he loves it. You know, I thought it was a classic film. And last but not least, this isn't the 3D version. I think I got this. Might have been Spain. Spain or Germany, one of the two. But it's Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now, there is another version of this, a British one, that has a 3D in it. I will get that at some point. But this is, I just love the artwork on that. I just thought that was a classic one. Now... This is where I end my top 10 by going to what Jack and Laura sent me because they've sent me more brilliance. They've sent me, still sealed, the best exotic marigold hotel still book. I think that is so cool. I mean, I, I can't for the life of me think they've sent me another still book. Now, there is one other. Well, I'm going to save that the last because I nearly pissed myself with happiness when I saw that one now again I have a note private you're not reading it but just so happy about that they sent me the change up with Ryan Reynolds really funny film thank you due date Robert Downey Jr you know he's cool now my missus loves these loves these I'm um, still got to see the third series but we've got an idiot abroad and an idiot abroad series two my missus just thinks that guy is so funny. And this is the one that really gobsmacks me. They've sent me Greece, the 40th anniversary edition, still sealed. This has only just come out. I'm just like, I'm lost for work. I'm just, my missus is going to go skippy. She loves this. Thank you so much for that. Now, just that in the box would have been cool. But they've done it again. They've sent me another pop from The Walking Dead. Now, this is Carol Pel Pelletier. So, I now have two Walking Dead pop figures. I'm just like... <laughs> you know, there aren't the words. There really aren't. Now, even that gobsmacked me. But then I brush aside the last piece of paper in that box. Now, she knows... I go ape shit for this film. This is one of my favourite films of all time. They've sent me the steel book, the Antiquous steel book of Tangled. Tangled. Look at the artwork. I mean, 3D as well. 3D people. 3D people. 3D. I'm just like, I'm, my mind's numb with how generous you are i mean i really 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 don't know what to do next i mean 
I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I, I take this as a challenge now. What I'm gonna send you, but I'm just so thankful. I really, really am. Thank you so much for sending these to me. It's cheered me up no end. Um, I actually got uh, my bone biopsy for my leg back today as well, just to let everybody know. And I got clear on the bone biopsy. So that has reduced the risk of me losing my leg, something chronic. That this, this means that they may be looking at rebuilding my leg, which means I'll have a terminator foot, basically. So if I kick you in the nuts, you're going to fucking know it because it'll be metal. But again... With that route, we're talking about six to eight operations and about two years worth of pain and recovery. But the way I see it is better that than losing my leg. So, of course, I'll keep everybody abreast of that. Um, I'll keep the video as short as I can for this, but please let me know even on Facebook. Send me some comments on Facebook, comment on the bottom of this video, and give me a thumbs up if you like my videos, by the way. I, I never ask people to do that, but apparently it's something you should ask. Um, I really am into steelbooks. I'm really starting to get into them more. Um, the Predator steelbook went up on pre-order at Zabby today. If you watch my Facebook page and look for my messaging there, you'll see that I'm literally about 10 minutes after it was announced I had that up. I quite like the cover to that, actually. Um, I mean, this is where I'm waffling now, because I'm still I'm just looking at this pile of stuff that I've been sent, and I'm just gobsmacked. Thank you very much. Um, we'll look, let's look forward to Friday. I won't get them down again, but remember, we've got Lockout and Battle Los Angeles as a prizes for this week. I'm feeling generous after that. So, what I'll, uh, just to let everybody know, and if you're watching this video, get your entry in on Facebook. Remember, messenger me. My friend, Anthony, who won the Expendables trilogy along with that other film, I can't even remember what it was last week or the week before has gifted them back to me because he already had them so as an extra i will put all the names back in the drawer again and i will draw it for uh, the expendables trilogy as well so whoever wins this friday's one of you lot is going to also get an expendables trilogy all right so that's a little extra because i'm so happy i had good news medically i had some good friends send me some good stuff today as well so let's celebrate by giving away a little bit more as well, just to show people that I really do appreciate it, all right? Thanks again for your time tonight, and I'll talk to you guys Friday. Thank you. Take care.